Daniel Shuckman, MSD Partners. Uh, to uh, Patrick and your side, isn't it a uh, colossal, almost uh, debate-ending concession on your part when you said before that, uh, of course, you know, Bitcoin is only suitable for, you know, three, five percent of your assets. I mean, you know, this is a speculative thing. My God, you wouldn't want to, you know, risk so much beyond that in this uh, currency. I'm happy to Tim back Peters. him up there. I do understand that, that with your own money, you want to make sure that you're set and that this is a risk. Thank you. We all know it's a risk. But over time, I think your, your Bitcoin uh, ownership should continue to in increase. And I believe that there will be a point at which you will no longer really want any of the fiat currency. And to my, to my answer is, I'm not completely sure I'm right. I'm not completely sure I'm right, and I don't want to tell grandma to go put her savings into this. Let's see how it evolves. Eric or yeah, Julian, you can I, jump in on yeah, that. Yeah, I agree, Eric, it's closer. a debate-ending concession. <laughs> and the reason is, is that what Patrick, <laughs> what Patrick is saying is that Bitcoin is a speculative investment, the way the South Sea stock was. Maybe if you have a lot of money, you want to put a little money, a little, a little bit of money in it. But a currency has to be used by everybody. That's the idea. It's got to be a hundred percent. I consider that an asterisk. <laughs> I'm speaking Wait. to the investors. <laughs> settle down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Thank you. To the specific question of do you, do people go and invest? No. Uh, I try to say somewhat agnostic about that. But to, on the question of is this here to stay? Is this going to re-architect the institutions of civilization? Yeah, I think so. I just, uh, but that doesn't mean I want to tell grandma to go and put her savings in it.